Hey folks, I'll show things on shoe.com. Rake angle, what is it? Why is it important? Fairly boring topic, but if you're going to hang on, uh, you might actually hopefully use this not only for burrs, but also endodontic files. Anything, anything that cuts rotary and cuts some sort of uh, material. So in, in our bur dental burrs, we typically, I mean, I've never, until I got to the residency and then started getting pimped on it, never really paid any attention to um, what a burr really was. Flutes, teeth, and the same with endophiles. And especially when I would see a brochure for an endophile and they'd show a cross section. So if this is profile, they'd have a they'd have their file and then they'd cut a section of it and then they'd show you what it looks like from the cross section and how great it is. I never really understood some of the terminology. So let's just try to talk Talk our, ways, talk our way through rake angle and how that applies to uh, burr, uh, dental burrs and also endodontic files. So this is an interesting study, well maybe not, but from 1954, there hasn't been a lot published about <laughs> endo shapes of endo burrs. Uh, lots on endo files, but uh, correction, not dental burrs um, in the past 60 years. But these guys took, so the relationship between design and cutting efficiency of dental burrs. Now they took two uh, burrs, a 557 and a 34, the 37 burr, and they did a cross section of them and then measured the rake angle and then they tried the, the cutting efficiency of each. So what's this rake angle thing about? Well if you were to take, imagine this is the cross section of a burr, so we'd take our set, this is a 703 because it's a really large and easy to see on a video camera. So <clears throat> if we were to cut this or even look right down the center of it we're going to see this. So this is the center of the burr and these top pieces are called the teeth that bite into the material and these are the flutes or the valleys. Typically the rake angle is described as the angle formed by the leading edge so the leading edge of this mountain if you may or peak and the radius of the burr or endophile. So if this is the radius coming right from the center, this angle right here is called the rake angle. So you can either have a positive, a radial, or a negative rake angle. So let me just use some butter to describe uh, how those work. Okay, so I'm gonna use this butter. I read this online, I have the link up. A uh, great way of just demonstrating positive versus negative rake angle. So imagine this is my, uh, we've got some material on here just so you can see, and this is my burr or endophile. So let's talk about a negative rake angle. So in, with regards to the direction of rotation, which would be this way, our negative rake angle is more of a scraping action. So especially in endophiles, this can be, the scraping action really seems to be, uh, gives a nice smooth feeling. So you're not, it's more of a, like I said, well, scraping, you can see here, versus a positive rake angle. So a positive rake angle relative to the direction of travel of my burr uh, results in more of a cutting. Action. So really the balance is you think, well, most of burrs must be positive rake angle. Well, the problem is, is that um, if you have a, a positive rake angle, often what happens is the, the burr will dull faster than if you have a negative rake angle. So it's more of a balance between uh, the amount of material behind the blade and where. So just to sum up, sort of the differences between a positive and negative rake angle, we sort of discussed uh, it, their, rel their relation to the remainder of the burr and we'll use the knife. Now, in our day-to-day -day use, if you're using a knife and you're typically trying to remove a peel on something, you're, I mean, most often you're gonna use it at an angle like this relative to the, the, the path of travel. So more of a cutting, more of a cutting motion, a positive rake angle. Uh, the benefit of this is more efficient cutting. However, with this, the, uh, just the actual design of the blade um, may actually result in less material, less steel or less carbide uh, being within the tooth here, the cutting edge, so it may actually fracture earlier and actually wear down faster because it's a thinner um, tooth. 
versus a negative rake angle, which has more material, as you can see here in the design, but you're getting more of a scraping motion relative to the path of travel. So as the it may be smoother, uh, it's not going to cut as efficiently, but it might actually last longer. So manufacturers obviously take that into consideration when designing um, a burr and endophile for a specific use. I hope that helps. Cheers.